on everybody it's your boy the slab train and welcome back guys now today we don't have any gameplay of our let's play but i do have my experience of this weekend at the grand prix cartways now this is a track located in toronto and um i had an absolute blast here now we were actually here for my girlfriend's cousin's 25th birthday party and i really didn't know what to expect coming into this now later i find out this is actually the longest indoor high speed straightaway in ontario of 600 feet now i'm just quickly showcasing the overview of the carts as well as the track feel free to pause them as you like but today though i wanted to just pretty much show you guys my perspective of the day now we were here for um i would say about an hour and a half to two hours or so and in that time uh we did a qualifying race is what you're watching right now with my chest cam view and we averaged about 28 seconds per lap you know give or take the crashing you know slowing down things like that um, I was running about a 24 seconds on my best lap on our qualifying runs now um, I pretty much just put together all of you know the cool corners of the slides and stuff like that because you guys know I hopped in these things and wanted to slide them right away so what was really nice about this is that it almost had a Silverstone national feel to it with the S kind of chicane corner from turn think five to six so that was a lot of fun on that now right there coming in that was turn five and then exiting out right here is turn six and it just kind of mimics Silverstone in that kind of manner so it was really neat and then coming through right here into turn two this is our 600 foot damn straight away on this and this was absolutely insane had a lifelike mural of the Toronto Skyway bridge coming underneath underneath that tunnel it was 130 foot mural of Toronto so that was really damn cool coming through there um, and it was just an overall exhilarating course I mean, it was very fast paced as I said it was about 24 seconds um, or so per lap that was my best lap of the night which I'll get to in a little bit later uh, but I mean like I said the carts they ran really nice you didn't have to worry about any of the gasoline because these were all electric carts I mean it's green friendly what more do you want man? it was absolutely insane I wish they had a little bit more power to the pedal that's my only pet peeve but of course we're used to driving some Forza cars that was 600 plus horsepower obviously so for what it was it was a great damn experience the carts handled very nice had a very nice throttle response to it and they could even get sideways from time to time so it was a really nice feeling to just kind of slide it out coming through these corners you know take them a little bit wide cut in and slide them out you know obviously whenever there's not anybody around you for that matter and pretty much I didn't see anybody on the qualifying run I was the first person out of the gate and I didn't see anybody until the I'd say pretty much the end of it so it was a little bit boring not being able to race with anybody being in front I passed one person I believe one or two people in this kind of area and then that was about it but I had an absolute blast now in total I paid for the weekend um, I paid me and my girlfriend um, it was about $55 each so in total $110 now this is where I kind of got a little bit sticky now in terms of that we went on Saturday which the most expensive um, they charge I believe I think it's like $29 per race they cut us a deal because we had a party um, so it was uh, it was kind of damn expensive for what we did I mean we did 16 laps for our qualifying and then we did 14 laps for our race and in that time we averaged about 24 Point seven seconds, or sorry, 24.073 seconds on our laps. So in total, you put those all together, averaging our best time, we were only racing on the track for about seven and a half minutes. Um, which is, I mean, it's not a lot of time. I mean, obviously, yes, time constraints and stuff like that, but I would have loved to just kind of boost it up, maybe 20, 20 per race, and that, I think, would have been a good dollar value for the day. But either though, it was an awesome experience. I had a blast, and these carts were a lot of damn fun. I, I mean, I'm really hoping to go to some other kind of karting experiences and, you know, bring my GoPro and, you know, show you guys more events. Now, this was not a sponsored video by any means. Um, this was just kind of my experience from the week, and I figured I'd showcase it to you guys. You know, I brought the GoPro around, and what was really nice about this first qualifying run, I had the chest cam on. Now, not knowing that they actually had helmets that actually supported the GoPro mount. So all you needed to do is have that little clip, you clip it into your helmet, and you're good to go. So I was pretty pumped about that, knowing that I 
could actually throw on the GoPro for the main race with the head cam. Now I'm going to leave the links to all the pricings in the bottom. They have a really nice package at this place allowing you to race all day, man. I've never seen that before. So if you go on any day, um, I believe it's all you can race daily pass for $62. Not available on Saturdays, sadly enough, because I would have bought that hands down. And I definitely see myself going back here, man, for that all day pass, bringing a bunch of Oh my god, it's gonna be a lot of damn fun. Now right here you guys are watching the main final race. Now I do have quite a bit of footage on this, so I was hoping to just showcase it mostly all of you guys. Now I did cut out a little bit of the fat from the race, but I will let you guys listen to the introductions because I had a great little house announcer for the day and it was a lot of fun, man. You know, the experience that we had was absolutely dope and I want you guys to listen to this right now. Keegan, I'm coming for that first place. All right, so you can see all the drivers of the championship final leading up to the grid. We have the pro pro man himself. I'm getting my guys go our sweater. He's ready to go. His name is Beer Man. Keegan Lawson. Stock number 22. He really wanted to go for 14. He wasn't at 10. It wasn't meant to be, but he is in car number 21, car number 14. Really not meant to be. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Mike Patches. No love for Mike. That's okay. In car number 12, he has a logo on in his head. He's a winner of the last, of his qualifying round, his qualifying round. His name is Peter Shakin's in car number 12. Third place in the lane. All right, guys, here we are, man, the final race of the night here at Grand Prix Cartways, man. Now, as I said, I'll leave all the information for this place in the description box down below. Now, for this race, what we did was one warm-up lap. We went around the track one time, got a feel for the cart, warmed up the rubber a little bit, and, you know, if you wanted to, you can throw it a little bit sideways if need be, but we then got staged and then we ran the race. Now I'm gonna leave you guys to watch the race in its entirety. I did cut out a few of the parts in there, but I wanted you guys to kind of experience it the way I experienced it. And um, you know, just kind of overall, tell me your thoughts on the course. Personally, I loved it. As I said, it was a very technical course, challenged everything, man. You had to make sure that your lines were smooth with no errors coming through a lot of these sections. And just overall, man, showing your driving line skills. Now, obviously, I did not have the greatest lines for the day, but we did come away with a very respectable position. Now, there was a little bit of confusion at the end of the race, which I'll let you guys kind of wonder what's going on, and then I'll explain it in a little bit. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, man. Coming through to section number one, man. Turn one, baby.
that was the end of the race, man. That was a total of 14 laps that we did, and we ended up finishing in second place. Now, from what my understanding is, the reason why we got cut was because of the fact that I won the race. Now, long story short, my buddy Keegan, which started in first place, ended in first place. Unfortunately, they forgot to put his name on the computer when we started, so he wasn't even in the system when we finished the race. So unfortunately, his lap times did not get clocked, and I ended up taking the blame for first place when I was actually in second, thinking I was in fourth because of all the lapping that was going on. I totally lost where I was. Now have a listen. I'm in fourth. What about Keeg though? He started in front of me. Yeah, but you started, you uh, finished first. How's that possible? Because I never passed him up there. So after all the confusion, um, he just said, you know, just run it, doesn't matter. So I ended up doing the victory lap for him. And, you know, I wasn't really the happiest because I didn't win it, man. It wasn't my flag to hold. So I stuck it in my damn shirt and I just did the lap like it was another damn lap on the track. And I figured it was a good opportunity to throw it sideways on the chicane, which I did. But overall, though, had a blast that race. And as I said, we finished in second place with Keegan taking home first. In our bracket, we had Haley coming in in third place and then Jordan coming in in fourth fourth place and then Riley in fifth place as I said I'm definitely gonna be hitting that back up for that all-day pass I hope you guys enjoyed this footage from the day it was definitely a new experience for me you know bringing the GoPro out to the karting and you know I haven't been karting in years so I'm definitely looking forward to maybe doing this again at some other locations around the city um, you know just bringing the GoPro for the day and just having an absolute time of my life throwing down some lap times and hopefully becoming a better racer in general so here is the dollars per day chart as well as their location ladies and gentlemen thank you guys very much for watching today if you guys enjoyed the video and you are not already take the time hit that subscribe button you guys can follow me on facebook instagram and twitter all of which are down in the description box down below ladies and gentlemen chibota slap train i'm out peace What a slap train and welcome back guys. Oh.